Greetings all you maniacs and mindstone of crimes, welcome back to another Warframe's ins and outs. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ash, another frame that I wanted to talk about for a very long time, but I just never got around to it. But now that I have Ash Prime and the new deluxe skin, um, I think it's finally time to talk about Ash. I really like this frame. I always really liked him. Uh, well, I kind of had a love-hate relationship, but now... Because of some changes or just little improvements to him, or maybe I just got better at the game, quote unquote, got better in the game because this game is still so easy. Uh, I just fell in love with the only ninja in the game about space ninjas. So, well, quote unquote, space ninjas. Uh, anyway, so let's go over his passive. His passive is busted as fuck. Bleed effects do more damage and last longer. So, any slash procs that you do are going to be much more effective. So, him with a mod like Hunter Munitions is a very powerful combo. But, of course, Hunter Munitions is Hunter, is Hunter Munitions. And I really don't like using that mod as a crutch. Um, so, his first ability, Shuriken, it's really simple. He just chucks shurikens. He actually chucks two. Now, as far as I know, I could be wrong in this, you can't change the number of shurikens. Um, anyway, so it will do slash damage, and with the Seeking Shuriken Augment, it will remove armor. So let me actually show that. I remove 101% of armor. But here's the thing. On certain enemies... Both shurikens need to hit the enemy. If only one does, it will not remove armor. But yeah. So yeah, all the armor's gone. That one's armor's not gone. If it actually decides to... What is it doing? Yeah, sometimes it, it, it messes up. But yeah, you see all the armor's gone. And just from a few uh, throws, you can see how much damage that's doing. These are corrupted heavy gunners level 140. They have a lot of health. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. That is very strange. But anyway, that's Shuriken. It is super, super cheap and easy. It has a lot of reach to it, a lot of range. And you can spam it to high fucking hell. And as you can see with the passive, the bleeds are tick ticking away. So there is um, that. So I'm just going to reset this. Anyway. The next ability is super simple. Smoke screen. It just turns you invisible. That's basic, basically it. But it is to note, when you cast it in your enemies, they will be staggered for a brief time. They're not open to finishers or anything like that. Um, so, so there is that. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's super fucking simple. It just makes you invisible. There is really nothing else I need to talk about. Um, there is actually one thing. It will not make Ash intangible to spy uh, lasers. So if you're using him for spies, you still got to be careful. You can't be Avara and just run through everything. Um, but anyway, teleport. Teleport is super simple as well. You literally just aim it at a target and then you teleport to them. It is to note that it opens enemies up for finishers. You got to have pretty fast hands to do this, but... If you do it right, you can actually hit them with a finisher. I can't seem to do it right now. But, of course, there is the augment, uh, Fatal Teleport. And I'll show the build real quick right here. So, Fatal Teleport. So, you will automatically uh, do the finisher. And it will do more damage. So, so yeah. At least with the Sigma and Octantis, I'm completely capable of one-shotting these level 140s. Um, anyway. It is also to note that teleport will not only teleport you to enemies, but it will teleport you to friendlies. And it will also teleport you to anything that has a health bar, including crates. So, there is that. That is honestly all there really is to teleport. Ash is a, is a fairly simple frame. But now we got to go over his fourth ability. So, his fourth ability, Blade Storm. This ability is his DPS ability, basically. And it does a lot of damage, but here's the thing. It's a little weird because, because it, 
it says on the wiki or in the past it did true damage true damage meaning it ignores all resistances and does direct damage it appears it no longer does that against corpus it will the slash trox will still tick at the shields and not go through the shields and directly hit the enemy's health so anyway let me show you Bladestorm. Now, it is also to note, when you use Bladestorm while cloaked, uh, the drain is half. So, all we simply do is turn it on, and then we have to visually scan the enemies. And you can mark them up to three times. So, you literally just do this. Did I get everyone three times? Does everyone have three marks over their head? So as you can see already, the, the energy drain is kind of high. And then you just press 4, and your shadow clones do all the work. But if you press 3 on an enemy, you join the fray. Now, Arcane Strike is uh, kicked in, so now I'm going to be moving faster. Um, things like Prime Fury uh, will affect how fast you move. Also, the combo counter greatly affects the damage, which I will show in a minute. But as you can see, you're also invincible while doing this, and your pet is invincible. So... And you can see that the bleed ticks are kind of are pretty large, and these guys are most likely going to bleed out or going to be very close to. So, yeah, you are close to dying, and you are close to dying. Um, so anyway, let me do that again, but I'm actually going to slap on Naraman, and I am going to show what happens when I uh, have full combo counter. Do I have Naraman activated? No, I don't, um, because I have to do that for some reason. There we go. Void Stalker. That's how I know Naraman's active. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna unpause the AI and get my combo counter maxed. This won't take too long. If you're if you're wondering if the Sigma Octantis is still good, of course it is. So now my combo's maxed and I'm just gonna do this. Anyway. I don't need to kill that one. Just do that. And then my combo counter is maxed. And I will show you the difference. So the bleed ticks were doing like what? 2, 3k? Now with max combo counter. Or near max combo counter. Once I actually mark all these guys. The bleed ticks. Yeah, you see that? They are doing fuck tons of damage now. They're doing 8 to 10k, 12k. And uh, yeah. Arcane Strike is kicked in. I'm faster now. So, yeah, attack speed mods do affect um, how fast you're moving. But you can see that the bleed ticks are much higher. So, yeah, that's 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 pretty much Ash. Um, on the surface, uh, he doesn't look very complicated, but there's actually some, some interesting things about him. He is a little bit more complicated than you might think. So, this is the build. Now, this build is mostly around survivability and uh, smokescreen and blade storm really um you might want more range than this uh and power strength does affect blade storm but not in a really huge meaningful way i would just slap uh intensify and power drift on there um instead of power drift you could easily put on i don't know cunning drift to get more ability range which yeah it will boost it up to that then you can activate it from much further away uh, anyway, well, not much further away. Yeah, that's not that big of a difference. Um, so I have Arcane Grace here, just because why not, and then Arcane Strike. So Arcane Strike is absolutely fantastic for Ash. So if you have maxed Arcane Strike, you're good. I don't. I only have uh, rank 1, but that is more than enough. Um, so the main thing with Ash I uh, recommend is use your 1 with Seeking Shuriken to uh, soften up really heavy units like Bombards, uh, Noxes, things that have a lot of armor. Um, and then this will also compound with Bladestorm to give you more damage or you can just shoot the dude. Um, also, when you're invisible, loud weapons like the damn uh, Kuva Dragoon will alert the enemy's position to you. But, your position to the enemies, but... They will only walk up to you. They will not shoot unless they see your pet or something. So there is that. So you might want to use a bow. You might want to use like the, uh, the Nagata. Fuck that. That. Gar is. Fuck. Garuda's crossbow. 
um, the Baza Prime, which is silent, um, things like that. Melee will not alert their positions at all unless you are going spammy, spammy, shooty bang with the Redeemer Prime, which I need to do another video on because this, this thing is absurd once again. Um, so there is uh, that. Also, there is to note when you go invisible, your pet turns invisible, your sentinel will turn invisible. There is also an augment for his two to make your teammates invisible for a short time. So let me actually show you the damage against normal level enemies. I'm not going to do a regular mission. I could, but I feel like it would take a long time. Ash doesn't take a long time in certain missions, but I just, I really just don't feel like doing a normal mission right now. So I'm going to spawn these guys at level 80. Um, your cat's buffs do not affect Bladestorm. They will affect your shurikens though. So your shurikens can orange crit. But your uh, Bladestorm will never, ever crit. So there is that. It will only do pure slash damage. And a lot of it, as you've seen, it, it's, it hits pretty damn hard. Bladestorm really is no joke. So there's a Nox. Um, and I'm just going to fill the rest out with Scorpions. Why not? Okay. So... So yeah, you can just do this to the heavy units if it'll actually fuck this. If it'll actually lock on and rip their armor away. So yeah, there's that, and then you can just do this. I think I missed one, but it's whatever. So yeah, the enemies no armor. Um, and keep in mind, while you're doing this, you are un you are actually immortal. Nothing can kill you while you're in this state. I will say I I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit more about um, Blade Storm. After this, so he's got his armor back, but it really doesn't matter, so I just... I need to do another video on the Kuva Dragoon, because it's absolutely fantastic again. Well, it's better now. It used to be still really good, but it's a lot better now. I gotta tell you something about, um... About Bladestorm. I don't know if you guys have, uh, come across this problem, but when I'm using Bladestorm in a mission... And I'm with other people. Sometimes it will bug out and put me in a wall. Or put me in a state where I can't use any of my abilities. And I'm forced to die in order to use my abilities. Um, when I teleport to join the fray with my shadow clones. So if you are in a public lobby. Be very careful so you don't suffer the same fate that I have countless times. It's really, really fucking annoying. I wish DE would fix that because, honestly, it is terrible because the best thing about Bladestorm, other than the damage, is the invincibility it gives you. Um, it allows you to take down large hordes of enemies pretty quickly and very safely, which is fantastic. But the whole fucking putting your ass in a wall, sh sending you to the void without any hope of being saved, just into the black abyss... Um, aka Facebook. Um, my puns aren't funny. I'm trying to be funny. Whatever. You get my point. So, Blade Storm. Be careful. Uh, but yeah, that's Ash. Ash is a very, very good frame, and this is my fashion if you care, because fashion is endgame. I don't know what the purple is. Why the purple, but I, I, hey, I like it. I like this new skin. It doesn't really look like an Ash skin. This looks something more like Necros or Naros, but I mean, who cares about Naros? He's boring as shit. Um, I think I just made a lot of people mad. He is. He's boring. Anyway, Ash is a very, very good frame. 10 out of 10 would recommend. If you want the normie version, um, because you have this, because you, you know, you just, oh, I'm just going to get the skin. I don't really care about Ash Prime because Ash Prime would cost me like 100 plat. Um, something like that, then just get Ash Prime at that point if you have the plat to get the skin. Anyway, the Normie version, uh, the parts are dropped by Grenier Maniacs, uh, Manix. Um, so, not me, uh, again, I'm trying to be funny. But those dudes, if you want a shit ton of them, do the, uh, boss fight on Uranus. Um, Tal Regor, because the only enemies he spawns are... Maniacs and they will drop the parts. Uh, <clears throat> so there is that. Anyway, 
I really do love Ash. I think he's a great frame. Do I wish he had a few tweaks here and there? Mm, I don't think he needs any. I think he's actually in a very good spot. I, I would, If I would have to rate him, I think I'd rate him an A. A plus, probably an A plus. The only issue he has is he doesn't muffle the uh, guns you use, which honestly isn't that big of a problem. You can use it to your advantage, like lead enemies um, away from your teammates or just oh, into a small room so you can blade storm them all safely and easily. So there's that. You can use those sorts of tactics. Oh, just kill them already. <sighs> you don't understand tactics, do you? Anyway, he's a good frame. I do wish his two had longer duration, but it's probably just my build. Uh, and I wish he threw more shurikens. So, there's that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, in Troby, we trust.